Hello coders, I'm Richter and today I have a very cool t-shirt. We have another day of lead code challenge. And before I solve this problem, like again, judging from problem title, I think I can guess what the problem will be about. I might be wrong. So, but before going to coding, I'm guessing the statement and I will first explain easier version of this problem. What if there was a sequence of zeros and ones and we need to efficiently answer queries, give me bitwise end of some range, of some interval. Uh, I, I don't know if it will be a case, but let's say so. There is a sequence and queries, find bitwise end of this interval. Then it is zero if and only if there is at least one zero here. Bitwise end of this interval is zero. And bitwise end of this interval is one. We're talking about this operator. So how to check if something starts on some position and ends somewhere, how to efficiently check if it has at least one zero, we can pre-compute something to then answer every query very fast. And this will be, if something starts here, I will for every position remember int next zero, next zero what of i, Let's say we have such an array, and next zero of six of this position, it will be nine. And I will compare that with end of interval. If I need to answer quickly for this interval from six to seven, I will check if seven is smaller than next zero of six. If yes, then it means that next zero after six is to the right from this end of interval. Let's see some other example. What about quickly answering for this big interval? We will check next next zero of this. Next zero of this is free. So I know starting from here, I can go to the right and I meet first zero on the third position. So much earlier than this. The condition I wrote earlier, next zero of L, this is important, next zero of L, must be what uh, greater than r if we are talking about interval from l to r then bitwise end of interval is one because there are no zeros in the sequence and this array can be pre-computed uh, before all the queries in linear time if we go from right to the left through the array now i really hope that i correctly guess the statement otherwise it will be a bit stupid to have this explanation at the beginning at all. Also, I have a timer. Given the range. Oh, oh. I thought those will be queries in array. Okay, I didn't guess correctly. <laughs> Don't mind that. Given the range, return the bitwise end of all numbers in this range. For example, let's say we have range from five to seven. 5 is 101, then 10 one, one zero is 6, 111 one, one is 7. I'm writing them in binary form to, uh, to uh, understand them better. On every position, I just need to know if all numbers there, all digits there are ones. So what about this? I, here there are all ones. What about just checking the first number and the last one? If there is one here, let's say that first number is this. The last number is that. Then we can find common prefix. And that common prefix tells us that only those are candidates for all ones. In this suffix, there was zero on every position at, mo at least once. Because in particular, uh, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. If this is starting number, this is ending number, then in particular somewhere between them, there was this thing with common prefix and then just zeros. So bitwise end of everything, I claim is just this. So find common prefix of M and N, they are up to this. Uh, for every bit from position 30 or 31, 
30. If M and this, I check bitwise end of M and this bit to check if this bit is on. If this is true, if this is different than the same in the other number, then something happens. I'm done. Uh, I ended the common prefix. So maybe break. Otherwise, if they both have this bit, then it will also be in the answer. Otherwise, they have the same bit, so I can just say answer. I can or it with this, assuming that it is in both those numbers. So this will work. I will simulate this on some example and then also explain to you what I thought the problem will be and we will solve that other version together. Does this work? I accept it. Uh, so what about some simulation? For example, 5.7. Maybe with bigger font and we don't need the timer anymore. For 5.7, those numbers are really represented by in computer as 32 bits. But let's say there is some number of bits. At, at the end, there is 101. Second number is the same like that. My solution, it iterates from most important bits. So it compares those, then those, and so on. And as long when there will be inequality, like here 0 and here 1, it will break. Because it will say now, from this moment, nothing can be 1. Why? So why, if this is 0 and this is 1, I'm saying that nowhere in end, bitwise end of all numbers in the range, there will stay end. They will stay one. Because from this number to this one, I'm listing all the numbers in between. And in particular, this, numbers, this number is in between. If this is, let's say, 230, this is, I don't know, maybe 888, then there is some number in between maybe 5 to 12. I'm just saying random values. Uh, but there is some number here that consists of this like common prefix, then 1, then all the zeros. And bitwise end of some numbers, including this one, they set everything here to zeros in the answer, in the bitwise end. Hence, after this first common mismatch, first mismatch between M and N, on the right everything will be zero. This is first thing. The other is that there is some common prefix. Like here, maybe uh, this, this, that. Then, well, the, the first mismatch is over there. But before that, every number in between them will also have the same prefix. Just like, you know, if I you listed down all the numbers starting from 1785, to 1799, all the numbers in between, they will have the same prefix. 1786, 1787, and so on. I found this common prefix. And in binary format, of course, I'm not thinking about decimal format. In binary format, common prefix means that ones will be there in the answer. This in C++, bitwise end of number m and number that just consists of a single one, like this. Bitwise end of this and that is just there to check if there is anything there, otherwise this would be zero. If this is not zero, then I this way turn on this bit in answer. You will find maybe some more detailed or just better introduction to bitwise operations in my bitwise operations in C++ video on YouTube. Recently, almost every problem, for almost every problem, I just say, watch that other video of mine. And it's cool. I already have some useful lectures. Now I will quickly tell you what I thought the problem will be. That may be more common in competitive programming. You're given uh, an array, like maybe 5, 7, 10, 21, 0, 
seven, eight, and so on. And there will be queries, and you need to quickly answer a query like, give me bitwise end of this range, give me bitwise end of this range, and so on. And then I, I wanted to be smart and predict uh, that it will be it. Then we need to write every number in bitwise uh, in binary format and focus on every bit separately. For every bit, imagine the sequence as just an array of zeros and ones. So if first number is 101, second number is 111, third one is 1010, and so on. I focus on a single bit, let's say the last bit. Then I have sequence 1, 1, 0. I'm writing those bits down. Uh, then 0 again, 1, and so on. Like the last digit in binary format. And on this I can answer queries about ranges in constant time, like I told you in with drawings, to get the final complexity of pre-computation, n times 32, or n times logarithm of value. This is this is length of binary numbers. Plus for every query you do something for each bit separately. So this is instead of of n times q if you just implement a brute force. But this is not a problem for today, apparently. Maybe next some next day. Just maybe there I I'm sure it is somewhere in like culture for code forces. Sounds quite standard. Uh, so that's it for today. That was quite unusual because I talked half of the video about some another random problem that you had no idea about. But I hope it wasn't bad for you to watch. Consider liking a video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.